The Gospel According to Luke In the fifteenth year the reign of Tiberius Caesar, when Pontius Pilate was governor of Judea, and Herod was the tetrarch of Galilee, and his brother Philip, tetrarch of the region of Icheria and Traconitus, and Licinius was tetrarch of Abilene, during the high priesthood of Annas and Caiaphas, the word of God came to John, son of Zechariah, in the desert. John went throughout the whole region of the Jordan, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins, as it is written in the book of the words of the prophet Isaiah, a voice of one crying out in the desert, Prepare the way of the Lord, make straight his paths. Every valley shall be filled, every mountain and hill shall be made low, the winding roads shall be made straight, and the rough ways made smooth, and all flesh shall see the salvation of God. Gospel Reflections In today's Gospel, John had a clear message as a voice in the wilderness to prepare for the way of the Lord. The way John's mission is described in the Gospel is the same way a modern highway is built. The path of the highway is planned to be mostly straight while avoiding serious obstacles and still get where you're going. You may even have been lucky enough to see them blasting away at mountains so that the road doesn't have too much of a grade. In other words, Prepare the road so it isn't too steep for heavy vehicles to go up or down. Even if you haven't seen it done, if you live in any kind of hills, you will have seen sheer rock walls left by the excavation. Since where there are hills, there are also valleys. They must be filled in so that the road is as level as possible. Tunnels and bridges are just other ways of accomplishing the same thing. Finally, the road surface is put in so that the way can be smooth, at least till potholes get added. What is your mission that you should be doing? How can you be making the paths ready for the Lord? Communicating His message of hope? Showing love? Enabling freedom? Bringing peace to people that need it? These are truly ways that eliminate barriers much worse than mountains and raise up any valley. You can do it all with the machinery you have with you and the help of the Lord. Please include victims of disaster, disease, and despair in your prayers. Subscribe by clicking on the round logo on this page or in the lower corner during the video. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed day.